Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss a feature of Securite Endpoint Security Cloud. That is how to add a new application into application control list if it is not available by default to manage it as per our requirement. So to manage a non-listed application, you can come to configuration settings and click on application control and it is providing us two options to add a new application. That is either using process name or by using the application signature file. So if you want to use process name, you enter the process name of that application. For example, xyz.exe. If this is the process of the application respectively, then you can add that. Then the application name is xyz and what category it belongs to, you can add it as a backup software or whatever you want to add, you can add there and you can click on save option. This is how we are adding an application with respect to uh, process name. And now apart from this, we can uh, add an application with respect to the app signature. So to do that, click on add application. You can see one option provided here to download one signature maker. Just click on that download option. It will download ap signer.zip file and you just need to extract that zip file. It contains ap signer exe. Just need to execute that to create the application signature file. So the file has been downloaded successfully and we are extracting uh, that uh, zip file. Yes, extraction has been done. And into this file, you can open a folder, you can open ap signer.exe. So in ap signer.exe, it is asking you for the application path. You just browse for that specific uh, application that you have. For example, uh, in uh, the system, let's go for one specific application here in C drive or program files. I'm going for everything. This is everything.exe. I'm opening it and it's asking us to save to a file. Click on save to a file. So the signature will be saved into that uh, file over here. D uh, to one file, I want to save it. That is uh, DPPP. I'm saving it. Okay, so signature that is app signature dot that has been saved to that folder. I'm closing it and let's open uh, D drive. Uh, folder name is uh, PPP, and inside that we can find this uh, application uh, signature that is app signature dot that file. And just need this that file uh, to add that application over here. Just browse over here. Browse B P P P. All right, D. Just provide that it's PPP and signature file. It's getting added now. Application name that is, for example, everything new. It's like uh, any tool, uh, what tool it is, uh, you can search for that. Uh, it's for example, it's authorization tool. I'm setting it just to search. I'm just adding a description, clicking on save option. So this is how we are adding uh, the tool. So it is getting added. So this is how we need to add it. So you can see everything got new over here, or the early entries over here. If you want to remove it, just click on it and click on delete option to remove that from custom application list. So that's it. This is how we are adding a new application into application control for manageability. Hope it's clear. Thanks for watching this video.